Hello, I'm Catherine Ware, Curator of Photography at the New Mexico Museum of Art. While the museum is temporarily closed, we wanted to bring you some special features. And we're, today we're talking with an artist who has work in the current exhibition, Wordplay. I'm talking with David Alexander Hubbard Sloan, who has a print in the show. Hi, David. Hi, Kate, how are you doing? Good, good. Well, I first saw your work in the form of some note cards and stickers, which really grabbed me. And each one has a very cool, colorful graphic of some kind of critter. And underneath is the word for that animal in Navajo. So I really had to find out more. And I got the chance to visit you at your studio and see these larger prints that you are doing, which were perfect for our show, which is about images that incorporate words and letters and so forth. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing with that work. Okay, yeah, so I started out doing uh, different animals in Navajo because I um, have, my mother is Navajo, but we didn't grow up learning it, but I wanted to kind of learn the words. Um, there was also a saying I had heard um, that 100 years ago or whatever, everybody knew lots of words for uh, different animals and different plants all around them. We were way more in tune with what was around and what they, what things were called. Um, they said, as we lose our uh, language, we lose our connection to the animals. So then we, we start losing the animals as well. So I thought that was pretty profound. So I, was thinking, you know, the only way you can really help the situation is try to learn some words, I guess, even though I don't think I'll ever be totally fluent. I can wish so, but it's really hard language to learn. But I've been keeping it up for a few years now, so I'm glad to do it. Um, I started out probably with the B here. See, now, Bahi, let me pull that closer. Let's see here. And that's the honeybee, which is actually, I found out later, not actually from here. That's from Europe, but. Right, right. Thought I'd still put it in there. Um, and then I do different words like the uh, whale, um, eventually more endangered species because I have a environmental science kind of do uh, minor and I was kind of focusing on ecology. So here's Nashtoi, which means uh, mountain lion, and then Nodozigi, which means uh what's it called the one with stripes so it's how you would say tiger in navajo um and then i found these old ads in uh what's it called uh navajo times and they're kind of from the 70s and they're promoting consumerism and assimilation and it's got a lot of stereotyping kind of ads it's navajo shopping center wampum buys uh big hits with bargain hunters and there's let's see if you can zoom in a little see this guy and then wampum buys which isn't even navajo but it's funny that they would use that to tell us to go buy stuff but so i'm trying to reinforce kind of by putting with silk screen over paper lithography prints uh kind of layer it to put the importance of keeping our language versus consumerism and assimilation Fantastic. Well, I love that they're so colorful and fun, but there are so many layers of meaning, a lot of uh, sociopolitical and environmental content as well. So thanks so much for sharing a little bit about this with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me on here. Fantastic. Thanks, David. Bye.